If you guys remember, I copied a fly I had bought for carp fishing a while back that landed me a 30 inch fish. It was a crawdad imitation, and this is the fly. And some of you had commented that it would be good for a brown shrimp imitation, and I agreed. So I started working on a saltwater version of this fly for my trip I am taking to Corpus in a month. I made a few versions of the fly, including this one, with brown calf tail for a wing. Then I tried just making the same fly, but with a saltwater hook and different rubber legs. But none seemed to really work for me. So I got an idea that I would remove the wing completely and tied a bit more dubbing, and voila, this is what I came up with. I also added a little crystal flash for feelers on the front. So let's get started on the construction of this fly. The hook I am using is a Gamagatsu SS15 in size 2, and the thread is Danville's 210 flat waxed in brown. Now tie in 5 brown barred rubber legs to extend out about 1.5 times the hook shank length. Then trim off the waist. Tie down the tag ends and smooth out the bump with a bit of thread. Now take a few strands of crystal flash and tie them in so the reverse strands stick out to about the eye of the hook. Then pull the strands rearward and tie those in. Now snip off the longer strands so they are about the same length. Pull them apart a bit so they spread out a little more. We will now make a dubbing loop with our thread. Then bring your thread up the hook shank to right about here so not all the way up to the eye. Put your dubbing twister on the loop to hold it. Then pull out some of this trilobal dubbing and pull apart in your fingertips a few times to align the fibers. Stick your dubbing into the loop and spread out the materials so they are even on the loop. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and start twisting up your dubbing. Then take something like this Velcro to rough up the fibers a bit and pull out the trapped ones. Now proceed to make touching wraps up the hook shank, pulling the materials rearward with every wrap. Capture the loop and trim off the waist. Now go ahead and rough up the dubbing once again. Pull the fibers rearward and tie up onto the dubbing a little to ensure that they face rearward. Attach a 4-6 mm sized lead dumbbell eye on the top of the hook shank. When attaching dumbbell eyes, make sure to make X wraps and under wraps to keep the eyes from spinning. I like adding a bit of this UV curing resin called Bone Dry to the eye wraps. Once it is cured with the UV light, it will harden and keep the eyes in place. Plus, unlike super glue, you don't have to wait for it to dry to be able to continue tying your fly. Make another dubbing loop and prepare some more trilobal dubbing. This time we will use less dubbing for the head. Make more wraps with the dubbing loop, pulling all the fibers rearward once again. Capture the dubbing again and trim off the waist. And once again, rough up the dubbing to make sure the fibers are aligned rearward. While stroking the fibers rearward, tie up onto the dubbing a bit to create a small head on the fly. and trim off any fibers that got trapped in the wraps. Then smooth out the head with a bit more wraps. Now you can whip finish your fly. For added security, I like painting the wraps with more of this bone dry UV curing resin. 
This makes the fly more durable. As you can see, the fly rides hook point up and will be very snag resistant even without that top wing. It has a nice shrimp-like movement when stripped quickly off the bottom. It also swims nicely in a jigging motion in the middle of the water column. You can also evenly strip the fly as well for a fleeing shrimp action. As of making this video, I have not tested the fly on fish yet, since I have not gone on my redfish trip. But stay tuned, and you will see this fly in action on one of my fishing shows coming soon. Hey, thanks for watching! If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section. And don't forget to check the description section for more info about this fly and a list of materials I use today. I would like to give a special thanks to those of you who have started supporting me. Your donations are what keep this channel alive. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.